Greetings and welcome once again to the Clark Center Auditorium at Stanford University. My name is Michael Alvarez and I'm pleased to introduce to you Antoinette Konsky. Antoinette Konsky, I'm sorry, uh, from Foley and Lardner. She's here with a couple of her colleagues, George Best and Michael Herbert, who will be uh, presenting a program on intellectual property management and roles for scientists and medical professionals within the legal setting. I think it was somewhere around 40 uh, PhD level uh, trainees that are uh, with, your, with your firm and just wondering what it's like to interact with them and how, how they uh, go about assimilating to this new environment in your experience. Um, well, I just want to say that I think with respect to trends in the industry, at least in the legal industry, that um, when I entered the profession, it was unusual to have a person with an advanced degree working in a law firm environment. But uh, that is not the case anymore. That is quite uh, common to have someone with a PhD or postdoctoral training working not only as a patent agent or technical specialist, but also as an attorney, as George will discuss today. Foley is a full service firm, um, meaning that we deal with a lot of different, not just intellectual property or intellectual property law, but we deal with litigation, business law, tax, regulatory law, and public affairs, uh, just as examples. Uh, we have a variety of practice areas, um, including biotechnology, chemistry, and electronics, um, information technology, uh, mechanics, uh, and, and also we have a trademark and, and copyright um, department. These uh, attorneys not, not only have um, their JDs, or um, they have extensive experience in not only the industry, but also in uh, extensive training. We have attorneys that have ex, um, PhDs or master's degrees. Um, at least 40% of our IP attorneys have uh, uh, this continued training. So it's, in, in, and this is increasing. This is um, highly desirable for uh, people to enter the legal profession, particularly in the biotechnology and chemistry areas. What kind of career opportunities are there for scientists? And where do you actually get this, um, make this transition? What kind of training do you need? Or what can you expect to have once you get to the, um, once you enter this field? So I have listed here four possible ways that you could basically enter the intellectual property area or law in general. Utilizing particularly uh, the Career Center here, and Mike and Susan do a wonderful job. I use them as part of my contacting individuals and utilizing their expertise and, and how to obtain this. Um, this is something I do encourage as an additional path. You know, don't just limit yourself to this, but it's um, something that you really can't ignore. Um, it's where you'll probably get the majority of your positions. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.